Hi guys, Colin James Poulter here and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Right, today we're going to have the first barbecue of the lockdown. <sighs> and there it is. Okay, right, I'm going to get it out of the shed and um, see what happens next. And as always, it's safety first. And here is the barbecue. Nice kettle one. Uh, grill at the back here, not a grill, uh, a shelf at the back here, shelf here, and then underneath there is where the coal goes. We've got a grill here. And got another grill. Then right at the bottom, got another grill. So it's pretty much grilled out. And then underneath we've got uh, a little pot here and it's got a breathing mechanism on it. And the other side, it's like a jug. Look at that. And you can pull that out and uh, take that uh, thing off there and sweep all the coal and ash to catch underneath. Right, so uh, yeah, Let this, let's get this barbecue on the road. Okay, I've changed location because uh, I'm in the sun a bit more here than I was over there. I've got my trusty fire extinguisher. I use these um, lighter bags. Use, always used them, they're great. Last a long time, give a nice even burn. Got my safety glove. And whenever there's food, there's Leon. Yeah. So. <laughs> right, let's light it. Okay, well it's lit. I've moved back here, rather than being over there. Uh, don't ask, but uh, yeah, safety first. Right, so we'll let that burn a bit, and then we'll be back when something else happens. Okay, it's lit and running. I've uh, flattened most of it out with my pokey stick. Make sure it's nice and flat all the way across. Look at that. How relaxing. Right, we'll leave that for a bit. And then uh, come back when something else has happened. Right, so we've moved back to here um, because it was getting a bit smoky and I didn't want to uh, let it blow over to the next door neighbour's garden too much. So I think we're pretty good here in between the shed and the wall. So, I've got the Black & Decker work mate out for me gloves, me fish slice, and me tongs. And not forgetting a bottle of red. And then over here, Leon the sous chef, why are you throwing a bun? Oh uh, no, I'm, it's hard, right? So I'm it's just, hard? I'm going to give it to the seagulls, yeah. Right. Whoosh. And there it goes. Oh, what a shot. That was a good shot, actually. And Leon the sous chef has been out here. Arranging all the sauces. Um, look at that. Oh yeah. Right. Back when something else has happened and I've had a glass of wine. Oh yeah. So far so good. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> Lovely. The sausages, sausages of, well, I don't know what they're doing actually.
Lovely. Mm. Oh, dummy bottle of wine. Might go for another one. And um, all cooked. Look at that. Barbecue, a success. My burger, Vic. <laughs> right, back when something else happens. So, a bit of change of direction here now. Uh, N52. Oh, God. Mm. Serious hiccups. Don't know why. Mm. Right. And whatever they are filters. Uh, these filters are uh, NHS spec bacterial blah blah blah. It's what the NHS use when they're dealing with uh, people suffering with coronavirus. Now, <coughs> apparently. One of our very good friends, Vic, has been having trouble with this particular mask. Um, <clears throat> we've yet to actually go in. Oh, get in there. Oh, there's the filters. Okay. Watching Jung Jung Hai Kaka One One Wing Yang 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 Do Mili Now for Jackan. Right. It says that they're to N50, whatever it is, standard. And here is the... You don't actually get much in these. Nothing. Right, so they're sealed, obviously. Ah! Okay. They're sealed in some sort of sterile packaging. So we've got to get into that. Um... Hang on a minute, that's the, oh, that's the goggles and the mask. And this is the filters. So we've got to unpack the goggles and the mask and attach the filters. Right, we'll do that in a bit. But what we do here at home, I'm going to have to wash my hand now, is that anything we get through the post, right, anything we get through the post, we leave in the shed here for three days. Now, the reason we leave the stuff in a shed here for three days is because on shiny surfaces, like this and this and this, the coronavirus can survive a long time. Not so much on cardboard. Well, I'd say probably up that side. This side is quite shiny. So anything that comes through the post, we quarantine for three days, religiously taking no chances because it's a fucking killer if it gets you you're fucked so why take the chance why make that simple mistake okay that could save your life so i'm gonna leave this stuff here for it's been in here for about a day so what's today thursday uh tomorrow's friday Saturday. i'll bring you back on sunday and um give you a sort of a, a bit of instruction on how to uh, wear this stuff okay so wash my hand and back to the barbie fantastic barbecue but it's definitely given the new barbecue a good run for its money uh, cheers Rob for that awesome and here's Leon with a few words well what do you reckon Leon Sharp. and that was Leon <laughs> <coughs> uh, uh, the table ain't got a lot on it, apart from a couple of bottles of wine. And, uh, oh, another sausage has just gone to a deserved customer. Oh, I'm going to have another one of these tomorrow. Got to have. Got me? Got me? Yep. Come on. Yep. Hey there, dude. How's it going? Well, as you can probably hear, I've got the filters on the right way. So with these filters, you've got to push them on quite hard. What I did was uh, where the filters seat with the mask, 
I just put a bit of spit on them. Just went, <coughs> and then just put them into the latch, twist. And there's a certain way they go on, uh, so they won't go any further than what they are. So that's that. As far as straps are concerned, if you can hear me, the straps for the goggles go around here. I don't know if Matthew can film that, yeah? And the, uh, the, the, the pin sort of, uh, this bit sits where it's supposed to go, yeah? Which is just above the ears, right? And just along that line there, yeah? So it's just above the ears. And then the goggle strap is just there. This strap, which is the strap that holds the respirator on, is here. So it finds some cup in that for a second. Right, that's for the respirator. Okay. Yeah. So to do that on, I've just tightened it up a little bit under there. And then it just latches. On there, if I can find it, it's difficult to uh, try and get it on your eye. There you go, like that. That's it. It's uh, it's comfortable. There's a good seal around here, and there's a good seal around the chin, nose, and mouth. And as you can tell, there's a good seal because when I breathe in, you can hear it coming through these vents and out through that one. So this is perfectly okay. I can't fault this in any way at all. So what I would do is I would check your straps that these two connect to. Okay. If necessary, tie a little knot so they can't pull through. And also make sure that you've got this bit on before you put the goggle bit on. Okay, so this bit goes on first. Then the goggle, which is this bit. Stretch it over. And the last bit is this bit, which is your mouthpiece, which latches on there, yeah? Did you get all that, Matt? Yeah. Okay, well I hope this has been some help. And uh, these red N50, N90, whatever they are, filters. But they're on there, you've just got to push them in, twist them, and they only lock on one way. They go in from the top and then down. But if you look inside the filters, you'll see that there's like a stop. So it comes up there and then they go done. But they are a tight fit. Obviously they've got to be to have an airtight fit. You don't want them leaking. But this is good. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Like and subscribe and catch you in the next one.